I thoroughly enjoy using a chainsaw that has a very sharp chain. Unfortunately, I don't like sharpening chainsaw chains. So the question is, which chainsaw sharpener is the best? Well, let's find out. After we sharpen all the chainsaw chains, we'll see which one scores the highest on the sharpness tester. Then we'll see which one cuts the fastest through a very expensive test log. At a price of only $10 is this Honison brand steel chainsaw file. The three files include sizes 5 30 seconds, 7 30 seconds, and 3 16 of an inch. The manufacturer claims that the files are made of high strength steel. We're going to test that. Each file has a plastic handle. The Honison brand is made in China. Weight can sometimes be an indicator of quality, and Honison weighs 0.1 pounds. To serve as our baseline, let's see how a brand new chain performs before we dole the chains. The first method to test the sharpness is to use a best certified sharpness tester. The way this tester works is that I'll install a disposable test clip inside the holder. The tester will measure the amount of downward force it takes to cut through the test media. The tester came with this chart. A double-edged razor blade has a sharpness between 50 and 75. A utility blade is between 150 and 200. High-end cutter is between 250 and 350. Edges that need maintenance are around 400 and up. Let's go ahead and test the sharpness of a brand new chain. And the new steel chain has a sharpness score of 330, which is pretty sharp for a chainsaw chain. Instead of applying a downward force, I'll attach five pounds of weight to the front of the chainsaw bar. Let's see how fast this chain will cut through a test log. And the chainsaw will be cutting through a test log that's made of nine four by fours. I'll make three different passes through the wood and will take the fastest time. And it's 10 seconds on the first cut. And there's a good reason why the steel MS250 is my favorite chainsaw. This saw is extremely light and it cuts extremely fast. And it's 10.17 seconds on the second cut, which is a very good time. And the chain should be loosening up just a little and very well lubricated by now. And the new chain just made the fastest cut of the three with a very impressive time of 9.75 seconds. That's going to be very hard to beat. Let's go ahead and dull the chains cutting through this board that has sand glued to it. And the chain just made the first cut in 1.5 seconds. And the saw just made the third cut in just about three seconds, so it really slowed down quite a bit. A close look at the chain under the microscope, and this chain is in very bad shape. And this chainsaw chain is extremely dull. And the test media is really stretching, but the chain finally made the cut with a sharpness score of 880. That chain needs some help. So let's go ahead and run the chainsaw through the test log one more time with the dull chain to establish our baseline for dull chain. And this is just not going very well. This is a good way to burn up a chainsaw bar by applying a lot of downward force as a way of compensating for a lack of chain sharpness. And the chain finally finished the cut in 50 seconds, which is absolutely awful. And it didn't take too long to dull $200 of chainsaw chains, and it's definitely going to take a lot more than 5 minutes to sharpen all the chains. Before I sharpen the chains, I'll clean them up with some acetone to remove the bar and chain oil. I'll first mark the chain with some red paint to keep track of the starting point for the sharpening process. I'm also going to use a sharpie to mark the chisel to keep track of the progress I'm making while sharpening the chainsaw chain. Let's go ahead and sharpen the chainsaw chain with the Honison. And I spent a total of 8 minutes attempting to sharpen a chain with the Honison file using 12 passes per tooth. The file seemed to be doing okay on the first few teeth, but it seems to have lost its sharpness. I'll go ahead and clean up the file with some brake parts cleaner so we can take a closer look under the microscope. And the file doesn't look too bad, but the steel chainsaw chain is very hard and seems to be dulling the file very quickly. Unfortunately, the Honison file just did not do a very good job of putting an edge on the chainsaw chain, and parts of the chisel are a lot sharper than others. Let's go ahead and sharpen this test it anyway. And there's definitely a lot more sharpening that needs to be done. 625 is pretty dull. After getting damaged by the sand, the chainsaw needed over 50 seconds to make the cut. So let's see if the Honison chain can do any better. And the 8 minutes I spent sharpening the chain did help some, but 31 seconds is still pretty slow. And this is pretty bad, and I've got to do better than this. And the file just doesn't seem to be cutting, and the chainsaw teeth just seem way too hard. So I've now spent a total of 17 minutes sharpening the chain. And the right side of the chisel looks pretty sharp, but the top side of the chisel is still way too dull to cut efficiently. And the sharpest part of the chainsaw tooth just made the cut with a sharpness score of 460. And the Honison chain is really struggling to cut through the test log, but it does seem a little bit faster this time. And the first of three cuts is finished in 27.1 seconds. And the Honison definitely needs to do a lot better than 27 seconds to be competitive in this showdown. And the Honison just finished the second cut in 29.5 seconds, or about two and a half seconds slower. Unfortunately, the third cut seems to be slower than the first two cuts. And the third cut is five seconds slower than the first one. So the chisel edge that was created by the file just isn't holding up. At a price of only $30 is this Pre-Tech brand. This chainsaw sharpener is battery powered and it has a rechargeable battery. The manufacturer claims that you can adjust between 5,000 and 18,000 RPM. Titanium plated burr grinding stones. 5 30 seconds, 3 16ths, and 7 30 seconds. The kit includes some very light duty gloves and some goggles. 
The Pre-Tech is made in China. The Pre-Tech has a spindle lock button that prevents the shaft from turning. Once the sharpening stone is in place, there's a wrench for tightening the chuck. Once the chainsaw attachment is installed, I'll loosen the set screw and adjust the depth of the cutting wheel. The Pre-Tech claims to have an RPM range from 5,000 to 18,000 and it achieved around 5,800 to 16,700. And the Pre-Tech weighs 0.62 pounds. The red paint and the Sharpie are on the chain and it's ready to be sharpened. And the Pre-Tech sharpening stone is lopsided and so are the other sharpening stones in the package. So this is going to be very interesting. And the pretext started off strong, but it seems to be taking a lot longer to sharpen the last few teeth. Unfortunately, this sharpening stone is worn out already, and it's definitely bent. I'll go ahead and install another sharpening stone and go to work on the other side. And another four minutes is up, and I'm finished sharpening the chain. And the pretext sharpening stone that I'm using this time is also bent. It's a good thing this sharpener comes with a dozen or so assorted sharpening stones. A close-up look at the pretext sharpened chisel, and it looks almost as good as new. And the pre-tech looks sharp and the sharpness tester is pretty happy with the sharpness score of 365 compared to 330 for the new chain. Now let's see how well I did forming a proper tooth geometry. And 27.1 seconds is the time to beat. And the pre-tech is eating wood like a lumberjack eating flapjacks. And it's 14.7 seconds on the first cut. While the teeth on the pre-tech are indeed very sharp, there's just no way that I'm able to get a consistent sharpening angle perfect. And the pre-tech is almost as fast on the second cut at 15.7 seconds. And the Pre-Tech did a great job of holding a sharp edge with the final cut at 14.8 seconds, which is almost as fast as the first cut. Not too bad for a $30 cordless sharpener. Also at a price of $30 is this Total brand. Two fixed sharpening holes and a standard 30 degree sharpening front angle. To sharpen a chainsaw chain, you have to use a hand crank. It uses a tungsten carbide cutter. The sharpener only comes with one cutter. They claim that their grinding heads are sharper than a steel file. Made in China. And the two tile is very light at 0.665 pounds. Place the chainsaw on a flat surface pointing at you. Place the tool on the saw with the black edge of the knob on the left side. Insert the carbide cutter into the guide hole and align into the chain cutting tooth. Find the balance point where neither end of the tool touches the chain. The tool should rock on the carbide. Lock this position by tightening the two outer side knobs. Pull out the carbide. Pull chain forward to test that it moves freely through the tool. Reinsert carbide fully into the guide hole. While spinning the carbide via the handle, tighten the thumb screw until slight resistance is felt. You should also see small shavings. Only turn the handle clockwise and never counterclockwise. Pull the carbide out and pull chain forward to sharpen the next tooth. A huge benefit to using a sharpening system like the Total is that it's going to take off very close to the same amount of metal off of each tooth while a hand file and the Pre-Tech will vary quite a bit. And this sharpener reminds me of the good old days using a manual pencil sharpener. To avoid adjusting the backstop with each tooth, I'll have to sharpen all the teeth on one side before sharpening the opposite side. And it took about 10 and a half minutes to sharpen both sides of the chain. And the carbide cutter held up really well, but the question is, is a smaller diameter of the carbide cutter going to be a problem? Unfortunately, the carbide cutter is just way too small to reach the part of the chisel that needs to be sharpened. However, let's go ahead and test the sharpness of the chain anyway. Because of the ergonomics of the tester, I'm just going to be able to test the side of the chain that's very sharp and not the side that's dull. And 365 is pretty sharp. And the chainsaw chain is definitely sharp on the sides of the chisel, but it's very dull where it counts. And 47 seconds is almost as bad as the unsharpened damaged chain. We've got to do better than this, so let's try sharpening the chain one more time. I just spent an extra 16 minutes sharpening the chain for a total of 26 and a half minutes. And the chainsaw chain does look a little bit sharper, but definitely not nearly as sharp as it needs to be. And the sharpest part of the chain is still about the same as before with a sharpness score of 370. And the total seems to be doing a little bit better this time, but things are still not going very well. And the total finally finished a cut in 36.1 seconds. So this chain is still in very bad condition after 26 and a half minutes of effort trying to sharpen the chain. At a price of $40, is this ease do sharpener? The sharpener includes titanium plated diamond bits. They also claim a 20% longer lifetime with the sharpening wheels compared to non-titanium plated wheels. Sharpening sizes include 5 30 seconds, 3 16 and 7 30 seconds. Adjustable speed setting. Unlike the other brands, this one is a corded power tool. The EaseDo is made in China. Setting up the EasyDo for use is very similar to the Pre-Tech. After installing the sharpening stone, go ahead and install and adjust the chainsaw sharpening attachment cutting depth. The EaseDo is the heaviest yet at 1.445 pounds. According to the manufacturer, 10,000 to 35,000 no load RPM. And the EasyDo made it from around 20,000 to about 33,500 RPM. The sharpening stones that came with the EasyDo are definitely a lot better compared to the Pre-Tech. 
The sharpening stone is very straight and it has diamonds. And the high RPM Easy Do made very quick work of the chain in only six minutes, which is by far the fastest sharpener yet. And the Easy Do sharpening stone still looks to be as good as new after sharpening the chain. And the chisel looks extremely sharp and I just don't think I can do a better job even with the second attempt. And the sharpness tester is more than satisfied with the sharpness score of 390. So let's see how this thing performs cutting through the test log. And the Easy Do seems to be just as hungry as the Pre-Tech. And the Easy Do performed very well on the first cut at 15.48 seconds, which is less than a second slower than the Pre-Tech. And the Easy Do continues to cut through the test log like a hot knife through butter. And the chain just finished the second cut in almost the same amount of time as the first one at 15.8 seconds. And the chain is holding up very well on the third cut and it's not losing too much speed. And it's 16.7 seconds or about a second slower than the first cut. At a price of $49 is this steel chainsaw sharpener. It's a two-in-one chainsaw sharpening system. While you're sharpening the chain, there's a file in the very center of the tool that works on the death gauges. The files inside the sharpening system can be replaced. And the steel is made in Germany. And the steel brand is very light at 0.72 pounds. Looking at a chainsaw chain, these death gauges are sometimes called riders or rakers. They control the amount of wood that's cut by the cutter teeth. On the top of a chainsaw tooth, the top of the cutter slopes back. Each time the chainsaw is sharpened, the top corner of the cutter tooth gets lower. If the death gauges are not measured and then maintained, each time the chain is sharpened, the tooth will cut thinner and thinner till eventually it won't cut at all. And the German-made steel sharpener has some very sharp and durable files. And the steel is designed to sharpen the very hard steel chainsaw teeth and is making very fast progress. And the sharpener just finished sharpening both sides of the chain in only 8 minutes or about 9 minutes faster than the Honison brand. Finally, a chainsaw sharpener that restores a chisel to a like new condition. After 8 minutes of effort, this thing looks like it's ready to eat some wood. And around and the flat files on the sharpener still look as good as new. And the chain sharpened by the steel not only looks sharp, but the sharpness tester also agrees with a very impressive sharpness score of 295. And the steel is so hungry it's turning the test log into toothpicks just to keep on snacking. Just trying to have a little fun with this. And the steel is very close to being as fast as new at 11.6 seconds. Very impressive. Now that the burr is worn off the sharpened chain, the steel is even faster on the second cut. And the steel is finished in only 10.6 seconds. And the third cut is almost as fast as the second cut at 11.6 seconds. So the steel maintained a very sharp edge throughout all three cuts. At a price of $99 is this Kronberg sharpener. Made of cast aluminum, molded polycarbonate and zinc plated steel. It has two alligator clips that hook onto a 12 volt battery. Includes a 5 30 seconds, 3 16 and 7 30 seconds inch sharpening stone. The sharpening stones include a threaded end that threads into the chuck. Once the original sharpening stones wear out, I have found several other brands of threaded sharpening stones at an affordable price. The only other assembly is to attach the two halves of the sharpener using the thumb screw. I set the angle to 30 degrees per the chainsaw chain manufacturer's instructions. The Gronberg is made in USA. Up to 24,000 RPM. And the Gronberg made it very close to 18,500 RPM. And it's 1.555 pounds for the Gronberg. Place the precision grinder over the chain and bar. After you position the grinder base, tighten the precision block chain clamp over the chain rivets. Hold the precision grinder base parallel to the bar and then tighten the screw. Back off the screw slightly to allow the chain to move through snugly but freely. Position the cutter back against the chain stop. Select the angle dial to correct the angle. Tighten the thumb nut. Adjust the height dial if the grinding wheel protrudes one fifth to one tenth above of the cutter. After all the manual pencil sharpener motion and the back and forth with the file, it's so nice to use electricity to sharpen the chainsaw chain. Just like the total, the Grandberg is going to provide a very consistent angle every time. It's also going to remove the same amount of metal from every tooth each time, which is a huge advantage over the other options. I'll go ahead and sharpen all the teeth on one side before working on the other. And the Grandberg is the fastest yet at just over four minutes. Very impressive. And the chainsaw teeth sharpened by the Grandberg are extremely sharp. Just like the steel, the Grandberg performed very well on the sharpness tester. And the Gronberg is just getting after it in this log eating contest and it seems hungry for more. However, only 5 pounds of downward force is the limit. And 11.46 seconds is very close to the same as the steel hand sharpener. Now that the burr is worn off the leading edge of the chisel, the Gronberg should be even faster. And the Gronberg is chewing through the test log even faster this time. And the chainsaw is finished in just 11.1 seconds. And the burr is worn off and the bar and chain are really warmed up and the chainsaw is ready to eat. So let's feed the beast. 
And the Groundberg just made the fastest cut of the three in a very impressive 10.8 seconds. So the Groundberg is getting a little bit faster with each cut and holding a very sharp blade edge. At a price of $125, is this Timberline brand chainsaw sharpener? You're not experiencing deja vu. The Timberline is a USA-made sharpener, and the total is a $30 knockoff from China. So the question is, is the Timberline brand worth four times as much? And the total brand even ripped off the logo in the user's instructions. The total brand's carbide sharpener is on the left. Unfortunately, the sharpener is too small of a diameter. The chain stop on the knockoff is one piece, and the Timberline is constructed of two pieces. The thumb screws on the Timberline have a much larger diameter, and the thickness of the threaded portion of the sharpener is also a lot thicker. The knobs are also a lot larger on the Timberline for applying increased leverage with less effort. Finally, if you rotate the knockoff's chain stop screw clockwise, which is the intuitive direction used for tightening, it actually loosens the chain stop. Clockwise rotation on the Timberline tightens the chain stop. It's pretty obvious that the Timberline has a much better build construction, and that has a huge impact on durability. And the Timberline weighs about 50% more than the knockoff. Okay, so the Timberline looks to have a better build construction, but is it worth four times as much? And it's back to the manual pencil sharpener motion once again with the Timberline sharpener. And a carbide burr on the Timberline is doing a fantastic job of removing the damaged metal without heating up the chainsaw teeth. While the Timberline is doing a great job at sharpening the chain, it's a very slow process at just over 15 minutes. And the burr on the Timberline still looks as good as new. And the Timberline is extremely sharp, and I seriously doubt that I can make it any sharper. And 225 is by far the sharpest yet. And the Timberline might be the sharpest, but is it the fastest? And the Timberline seems every bit as hungry as the steel hand sharpener and the Gronberg. And the chainsaw just finished the first cut in 11.1 seconds. And the burr should be worn off the leading edge of the Timberline by now, and this should improve the performance of the saw. While it was a very close race, the Timberline just made the fastest cut of all the sharpened chains at 10.5 seconds. Very impressive! Let's see if the Timberline can cut even faster on the third and final attempt. And the Timberline seems every bit as fast this time as last. And it's 10.5 seconds once again. While it was very close, none of the sharpened chains could cut quite as fast as the new chain. However, the Timberline, Steel, and Gronberg all came very close to finishing within the same amount of time. If you're like me, you probably sharpen a few chains at a time. So sharpening time is a huge factor, and the Gronberg is the fastest in the lineup at just over 4 minutes. Easy Do finished in second at 6 minutes, and the Steel Hand Sharpener, 8 minutes. Just in the past year, the chain for my MS250 has gone up by about half, so it's definitely worth sharpening at a price of $30 per chain. As far as chainsaw sharpeners, I really like this Steel. Steel, Gronberg, and Timberline. All three of those are very good. However, the Timberline does take a little bit longer to sharpen a chain than I'd like. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.